welcome back to a lovely sunny June morning on Saxthorpe. We are in our field of two halves and uh, as you can quite clearly see we are cutting for some silage. I don't know why I've done that accent, I do apologise. Uh, so we've done to the left of us and we've got a quite a way to go on the right um, now the plan I've got for this is we are going to lease ourselves the quick bail the Mark Thor quick bail just because why not now if I'd have thought before starting um, I would have installed the one he sent me that we used on the oats that got actually my logo on it albeit the old logo now but uh, yes yeah, still still love that he did that it's a very uh very thoughtful gesture i know he did quite a few but uh yeah i likes it so yes hope you're all well we have um fed the animals we have opened the maze silage bunker and filled a trailer ready to go uh, when we need it we've still got the whole crop that is fermenting so we've been using the bale still got quite a few left of those but yes it's all been rather good and has not taken long to uh, get to the point where we've actually got a job to do so that's good because we like a short setup time uh, when getting ready for recording so I think we're going to one, the well, sorry, the reason for using the quick bail is because we've done a significant amount of grass work lately. Um, not only on here, but also on Ulsa. So, yeah, it's, it's a necessary task, but one that if we can speed it up, um, should benefit us all. Um, so because we can get that done we can then advance again quite quickly into july and hopefully get into harvest season i forgot to mention i should see the money rocketing up we've got the jcb loaded up with it i think it was about 23 something thousand liters of milk so that's being sold which is good nice nice little income there now what we can do from that is well, it'll help us <laughs> say help us fund <laughs> got over a million quid help us fund the leasing of the quick bail and uh, and at that point then we'll have at least well we'll have three bailers <laughs> on the farm which is just, it's probably slightly excessive um but yeah it needs must it's nice to use different kit um yeah use a different bailer every episode <laughs> what's your usp hmm bailers anyway i'm rambling so i will get this nearly done um we'll grab the jcb when it gets back and uh, we'll start on the bailing it's not uh, actually until you but get down to this level and the tractor struggling you realize this is actually quite a humped field um i like it it's nice to be working it like, properly i guess and cutting the grass and it won't be long till we're harvesting the beets it's a surprisingly big area um we're gonna get a serious amount of silage i don't know where we're gonna put it all but never the never mind it's a nice problem to have now talking about i guess a nice problem to have for some people at least and i'm not moaning i'm just uh, i'm astounded by some people's attitude so this week for me last week for you yeah that's right um yeah, that's right. 
So the, the handful of creators went to the case headquarters to, you know, do a... I think it was badged as an influencer event. <laughs> Can't remember which out of the ones I was reading the comments on but Facebook posts. It's like, how oh, so come you get to go and I don't? This isn't fair. Why should people get previews and all this? Like, oh, it's like, oh, shut up. Jealousy is a... It's not a it's not a nice trait, people. To say they shouldn't preview stuff is ridiculous. You know, it's like It's like saying nobody can you car companies couldn't launch a vehicle at a car show. You know, before it's actually available to the public. Just ridiculous. Just if anything for me, it's like, I want to be able to do that. And it, it's a kick up the backside to, you know, push yourself to get to that level where those opportunities do arise. And what an opportunity that must be to receive. I, either, I don't know whether it was a Discord message or an email that says, Oi, we want to fly you out here. How cool would that be? And you could tell I would think I watched Mr. CP's uh, review sort of um, not review I guess his time playing on the um, Bhutan and time app is it called I probably butchered that name um, you could just tell that he was so grateful for that opportunity and all the stuff that they got to do and driving the quad track and you know it's just cool and yeah fair play you know he was and he was so grateful to everybody that watches saying you know this because of you that i can do this there's none of this eh, i'm getting to play it before you so yeah a bit of a rant whatever if you gotta if you can't say anything nice don't say anything at all people that's got to be the motto right one and a bit passes left. We've already leased the bailers. Need to bring it down here. Gone for a beautiful colour of wrap. Build it with silage additive that we purchased as well. So it does take a full palette, which is handy. We'll have plenty. I don't think. I think the usage is um, economic. <laughs> I love the mod. Can't wait to use it again. Right. I'll finish up here, and I'll see you when we start the bailing. So I've sent the Valtra back on auto drive to the yard. While we drive our least baler with the beautiful bright pink wrap. <laughs> these should uh, stand out for a country mile, these will. There we go, right, beacons off. So, we need two unfold there we go we can turn on automatic drop i think that's fine we'll go with the 125s i think to start with because i can't remember the exact amount that these bad boy this bad boy baler holds okay <laughs> Oh, shout out. Here we go. Oh, it's not very realistic. I'm not bothered. I want to get this done quickly. So these hold six, seven and a half thousand litres. That should be fine. So that's all good. See, we're very slowly using the silage additive 0.3 of a litre I think we've used so far we didn't it didn't quite fill it up which is a bit of a a bit of a con oh no there we go aha that'd be why if we can just no we're gonna have to uh, just intervene slightly and that one there we go. Look at the colour of them. Oh dear. 
Pretty in pink. There we go. Lovely. Fill it up rather quickly, which is good. I'm liking it. Hopefully it won't take too long. I mean, we're running at, what, nine mile an hour. We could have got the one that works even quicker. But, you know, we've got to have a slight nod to realism. I can't even say that when I'm doing this, can I, really? It's epic, though. It's epic. I love it. There we go. Get everything in the corner. Lovely jubbly. Missed a tiny little bit, so we'll just catch that later on. Right. Push on. Get the headlands done. I'll catch back with you rather shortly. So I've done quite a bit more than I planned to do. Reason being, um, it was... It just took a lot longer than I thought it was going to, really. Um, underestimated the size of the field we have obtained. Um, not created, because it was already here, but, you know, repurposed. So we're up to, I think that was the 90... So this is the 97th bale, which... <laughs> uh, is ridiculous, frankly. Um... But, I'm just, yeah, it's going to bring in some serious cash. And also, it's nice to have it as a bit of a backup should we need the silage. I, I'm hoping we don't, honestly. But you never know. Though, so it's going to take us, what, one, two, two, two and a bit runs to pick all these up. I'm hoping that the trailer we've got does. I'm pretty sure it will do. Hopefully. But this this bale is awesome. I mean if you I could be driving down the middle and getting two rows in one near enough. But yeah, it's just nice, it's quick. Extra bit of capacity in the bales. The usage of the silage additive is just so minimal. You could just buy yourself. You could make a pallet last so many, so many grass harvests, grass harvests, grass, har grass cuts. You know, it's ridiculous, really. And sixty grand, I think, to buy. It's not bad, is it, really? And <laughs> yeah, just love it. It's epic. We'll drive down the side of this one, just because we can. So, if we are now at 102, I reckon 106, maybe 107 bales. Oh, that's not good. Turn off automatic drop and just reverse. There we go. Don't want to miss any, do we? Right, let's get that dropped off. Quite liking the bright pink bales. Right, we will finish this up, get them collected, put somewhere. Don't know where we're going to put them. Um, I might actually just stack them up on one of the sides of the field, I think, maybe out of the way. And then, um, yeah, we'll be good to start advancing time. We might put, hmm, do we fertilise or not? Ah, oh, that's going to be annoying. Can we do anything with a partial bale? Oh, oh you can unload the additive. Didn't mean to do that, but... Uh, no, we can't. Right, we'll put that back in. Because I'm not going to carry that all the way back to the yard. Get it folded up. And, uh, yeah, I'll grab the uh, bale trailer. And what I hadn't noticed is that we've got weeds in the three cornfields. So, set the John Deere off 
doing a little bit of spraying for us. I haven't uh, it got a bath. I only got about 350 litres in it, so we'll see how far it gets, but we should, uh, we've got plenty of cash if we do need to refill it. But the bale trailer is working like a blooming dream, as I expected, or hoped, should I say. Um, I love this trailer. I think it's just, it's just brilliant. Um, it holds a decent amount. Just mess around. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. They drove through me sugar beet then. There we go. Yeah, it's just holds a decent amount. And yeah, can't say much more than that really, to be fair. Right, last few. Come on. How many is it going to take? In F8. One more. There we go. That's handy. And I think we will just drop them at the side of the field. Potentially this end, I think. Course. I'm actually saying that there's a bit of a bit of a bund there, isn't there? Let's. We should be all right here. We should be okay. Let's go. Uh, I can never remember the button. Y. There we go. And a bit further. Like that. And reset. We'll forward out the way and then we'll spin round just to get these two. Don't want to get too close to the stack, otherwise, it'll pick them up and all. And we don't want that, we don't want that at all. So, I think we'll get well, we need to get these picked up, we can get rid of that menu. We need to get the corn sprayed. We could do with grabbing the fert spreader and putting a layer of fert down on this and potentially lime. Uh, just trying to think whether we do that and then in, a, in the next episode get through to harvest. Or, if we just do it very quickly, advance the months, and then, advance the weeks, sorry. And then we could get through, yeah, we'll do that. Right, I'll get these picked up, and I'll come back to you when we are starting the liming process, I think. So, as promised, we are into July and it is time to sell one trailer load of our soybeans there's only another five thousand something left so we can feed them to probably the cows i think yeah the cows can have that as power food so jobs are good and there right lovely 88 90 yeah, very good. 90... Yeah, about 100 grand of that. Lovely jubbly. Right, so... We are going to harvest one of our... Let's get this up. And we want it to go to field 29. There we go. Field 29. And go... Late because, as you've seen from the map, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six fields ready to harvest. So yeah, limed, fertilised, herbicided those three 
fed the animals. We've now had to open the whole crop bunker. That was done. So, yeah, we're in quite a good position, really. Got a trailer, f a trailer, tanker full of milk that needs to go as well. But we'll get to that at some point. I thought we'll do one of the smaller. Let tell you what. Let's before we do anything, go in and uh, how do we do it? Uh, where is it? Yield clear. Uh, we'll leave that one. We'll clear that one. Clear that. Clear that. That. Do them all whilst one remembers. There we go. Super. So, nice bit of OSR to start off our harvesting episodes. And most likely, probably going to be the last harvest, I think. Um, by the time we've got through everything, I think FS2 might well be on top of us, which it's not long now, is it? I'd like to, as we talked earlier, see some of the previews and more information's coming out. The hand tools looks quite cool, so you've got a chainsaw, um, I forget what else there was, some of the spray cans, they're actually items um, in the game that you can interact with rather than just having them sort of tucked in your back pocket, <laughs> so to speak. You can pick them up, you can store them in like a tool shed or you can, on some of the logging equipment, you can attach your um, chainsaw too, which I think is very, very cool. And just another little improvement i guess with the interaction and there i say it realism side of things maybe it's quite it's quite a cool little thing either way it uh, yeah we're over today 25th of october today so uh where are we so it's what three weeks is it three weeks away? Uh -huh. Not long. It is going to be upon us before we know it now. It's just a sign of how quick the year is going, really. But, hey, not to grumble. The yield is not too shabby in this field, which is good. Now, where is the worker going to appear? Oh, there. That is mildly annoying, because I bet it's not on the grass verge. Should have thought about that, shouldn't I? But we'll get round it at some point. We'll send it off to another location. Uh, yeah, should be able to do that, I think. We should be able to sort it. It's no big problem. Right. I think probably with this small field, two headlands should suffice. So I'll get those done, and I'll see you on the up and down rows. So a couple of headlands done, BCA course set, and I know I've now I've said it probably goodness knows how many times before, but there's something about harvest and the culmination in all of the efforts and yeah I like it and it seems a, I don't know, a nice way to end the series maybe I hadn't really put much thought into uh, how things are going to pan out really um, there's going to be obviously FS25 content but what that's going to look like I don't know yet really I need to put my thinking cap on and do a bit of uh, 
do a bit of planning would probably be a decent idea actually um, <laughs> but yeah between I'll see you on the up and down rows and Isle of a Harvest um, got to be two of the most commonly thing, commonly said things probably on this channel um, but hey we've got to have the old filler words haven't we <laughs> sentences in this case so it's not going to take us long and that's why I picked this field because I know we've done a bit of other stuff and if you do a massive field there's a lot of work to do a lot of you know it takes a lot longer so yeah trying to keep the video to a reasonable length but not make it a, uh, a 45 minute plus video he says trying to tot up <laughs> the total of the recording clips so far but no I, I we're not going to have a, a very long episode today I should say but yeah next time we'll crack on and probably do the other canola field in front of us and then sort of maybe rotate through the crops probably drop the straw on everything um, we'll keep hold of the um, quick baler for that purpose so that we can do some mahusive um, straw bales and then which makes it easier for transporting we've still got plenty of straw uh, stocked up so yeah jobs are good with that we might keep the odd bale but majority of it majority of it can go and then I guess it's thinking about what we do with the corn do we keep some of it do we just chop it um, that sort of decisions that need to be made but not quite yet we can just plod through harvest and take our time really so I think that is the way we're going to do it definitely going to be using one of uh, Mark Thor's beet harvesters that's for certain Um because there's no way no I'm saying that mm, we'll see we'll see we probably could but we'll just set it as standard maybe maybe being the um, operative word now uh, let's go to our left just because I can't gauge how full we are going to be so if we get the pipe on the right side and get the steering wheel straight, there we go. Ooh, there we are. Then job is a good one. So I'll push on, do a little bit more. It's not going to take us long and I'll catch back with you in a minute. Well, I may have uh, overestimated, underestimated how, uh, how much yield we were actually getting um, attempting to do that cut in at that point but oh this one's only full which is good so we'll get this topped off we'll grab the jcb and then that'll be good that's why we wait for that one to fill up there we go put the old cover over That can park up there. We need this bad boy. So I think the plan on how to leave things will be almost as a a going going concern. Is that the term? So we'll sell all of the produce that we've got. And then we'll replant, we'll mulch, we'll lime, mulch, drill, all of the fields that we own. And then all the machinery and that will be left. I think is the plan. I think that should work quite nicely. Ooh, premature there. No, even still. Um, 
Yeah, I think that makes sense. Some of the equipment is not going to be worth logging, but then again, we do have the old uh, class and the quad track. No, we're going to leave all the equipment. It's just a, it's just a different way of ending it, isn't it? it doesn't make any odds at all, really. Um, but I mean, there's like a million quid's worth of clothing again. Um, so, yeah, maybe we even get another field. Well, who knows? But that's that's a while off yet. That's a while off yet. Right. We'll come off the GPS course for this last little bit. There we go. We should have enough space. So we don't hit the front of the fast track, he says. Lovely jubbly. Right. Last pass. And we'll have a bit of a tally up as to how much we got. First field of many done and ticked off. Lovely stuff. Right. Get that opened out. There we go. So, we ended up with there's 40,000 litres in the one trailer. And. So, 40, 50, 57,758 litres. Not too shabby I don't think of that relatively small field probably one of the smallest ones we've got no didn't want to do that did not want to do that there we go one meant to hold the combine there we go right lower that in fact let's uh, fold that up again there we go Lower it down, touch off, and we'll grab that in a little while. So I'll get the canola into the silo, and then next time, like I say, we'll crack on, probably with the other canola field, and then we'll be into all of our others. So I'm going to say big thank you to the YouTube channel members and the patrons. I really do appreciate your support. Thank you all very, very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave us a like. If you're new, please think about subscribing. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.